You know, I wasn't even gonna make a video about it today, but I've been seeing this online. So, Chicago artist THP TP was in this video apparently that he was walking with his family and you have two thugs or multiple thugs and that's what i'm calling them deleted this man you know and not only was he unfortunately deleted but he was deleted in front of his own children and it's all it's all on video and we wonder why we're we how we don't see that we're generations of failures I mean, they, they, they run up on a man ruthlessly in front of his children. You know, as he's laying down his few breaths, as he's leaving the earth, his kids are standing right there trying to get out the way, scared, screaming for their lives. The wife runs over and tries to grab the children. We live in an era now where there's no remorse at all. But yet we're the same people that tell you Black lives matter. When when uh, somebody that don't look like THP slash TP does it, you want to go march the streets, yet you gun yourselves down in front of people's children. Not oxymoron. Is it just me? Now, to be fair. You know, the drill rap, which really, if, if you take drill and, and, and substitute out with, you know, another letter, um, you know, that's what it means. So clearly, if, you know, the thugs, if it happened to them, I'm sure, you know, people would be make. he might say something, you know, people would be making diss songs about people's deceased friends and loved ones and. They didn't make videos about standing on people's graves. And y'all sit there and support it. I think it's funny. You know, some of this stuff got millions of views. But look how many people are left. Lil Dirt. Who else is left from that whole movement? Chief Keith? Who else? Name them. And, and look at the destruction that you're causing. Now, back in the day, you seen somebody with their children, you didn't do nothing. Even if even if it wasn't you trying to delete somebody, you got a problem with somebody, hey, no, man, no, they got kids. I'm going to leave the kids out of it. Now, um, these people have become such savages. Whoop. Hold on. They became such... They have so much evil in them now to where it don't matter who's standing their way. Now people are now targeting kids half the time in Chicago. You know, we, they even coined the name Chirac. Oh, I'm from Chirac, man. We got more people that get deleted in Chirac than Iraq. Who wants to brag about that? Only us. But we're the same people that want reparations. We're the same people that argue about equal rights. We're the same people that say life ain't fair. But you see stuff like that every time, every night. People in Chicago got barbed wires on their, or, I mean, uh, bars on their windows. They scared. Scared of their lives. You can't see when your porch pass a certain time at night because these thundercats running around terrorizing your neighborhood. But yet, black lives matter? You know? And I'm sure I'm going to have people in my comments coming at me or whatever. But that's that's unexcusable. I'm sorry. In front of, the, in front of his kids? No remorse. Now these kids don't have a father, and now these kids gonna be traumatized. And and what do you think these kids gonna do when they get older? What do you think they gonna do with all that pain that's gonna be in in them for seeing their father leave the earth such a violent way? Generations of failure, man. It's over. We are going down, moving backwards. You know, but it is what it is.